and shortly it'll be an alley cat reproduction facility at some point here. And no, I'm not making any more invaders. We're done. Although you did say that the last time too, so. But I didn't think I needed one. <laughs> so. We were going to share one. Now I got greedy yeah, and I wanted yeah, my own. So, so yeah, you know what happens when you get greedy. Um, but, you know. So that was number one. Here's the other one. This is somebody else's. I don't know if we were allowed to say his name yet or not, but no. we're not going to. And then this one here is... The seat was actually... That was sitting in the in the other one, which I'll show you. The, that was actually Dad's seat that I've been running in. And he's been running in. We're a little bit different size. Uh, but this is being mocked up to be his cart and uh, I just sat in it this morning so we can get an idea what the fairing is going to be like and uh, see what uh, happens with my knees and stuff when I sit down in it Sometimes your knees are hitting these fairings and you need to get the height right on them so that you're not making your knees black and blue, bagging off the fairings. Yep. So, yeah, this, this one here is, the driver's a little bit bigger than us. Thicker than the thighs. He's probably, I don't know, he's probably six foot, six one, somewhere in there. Um, Another 30 pounds heavier. You know, he's, he's bigger than we are. I'm probably the smallest of the group, easily. Well, I ran his steering shorter. uprights an inch higher than what I have on the other one to allow him a little more room with his thigh area yep. in the steering wheel. And, and then of course here's the alley cat that we or the alley cat the invader that we were running the wealthy vader that we were running all in pieces right now so one of the problems building all this stuff is you got to have a lot of pieces around Parts, and then you have a wheels, cart that's together and it works hangers. perfectly and then you take and tear it all apart so the next spring you get to do it make all, all your again. adjustments all over again yep. yeah I mean, although I, was, I did record everything on that so it's going back together the same way yeah you know that's that is the thing I mean uh, we've pretty much cleared out our shed full of wheels and tires uh, you know Trying, trying to. Over here. I, I, I came over here and mounted tires this morning so I would have tires to put on this uh, third one sitting here, and then I realized I don't have any hubs. Yeah. So now I'm short, short hubs to be able to get all these set up with. So. Yeah. So you, have, we want to get this, get this other one set up. We'll probably have to go steal hubs from one of the other carts and put on it. But. So yeah. We're getting ready. Um, won't be too too far away, and then uh, powder coat for all this stuff. Yeah, one of these goes to powder coating as soon as they open up at Park and Custom Concepts in Reesburg, Wisconsin. Will open up right after the first, and yeah. we'll start taking the carts to them one at a time. And if you remember back when we were building uh, building the alley cats, and in particular the build on my my uh, dual rear Horkins did all the uh, all the powder coating for that back then, and we'll be taking it back over to them to powder coat. You gotta just select some colors, figure out what we're gonna run for color. Yeah, somebody better get busy and figure out what color he needs. Cause yeah, yeah, he's a uh, he's a uh, he's lollygagging on the color here. So. 
He's probably he's probably torn between uh, pink, probably. hot pink, not hot, just hot pink, pink, hot, hot pink. pink. Yeah, yeah, probably and, hot pink. Or or chartreuse. Chartreuse. Ooh, yeah, yeah. There's now there's a color chartreuse. Yeah. yeah, he's probably torn between those two. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Most definitely. So, so uh, inner workings of the. In yeah, he probably, he probably wants his cart to be that color. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Oh, yeah. My, my camera's kind of washed out, but that's, you know. You know. That's that, that fluorescent, ugly Menards color. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. So, there you are. The inner workings of the Invader Factory. Or the wealthy, in wealthy Vader Factory. That's the inner workings of it. Every bit of square footage on the floor is covered with parts and pieces and carts and you name it. And he's still... Oh, yeah, and, it, and I should... I'm going to pause this a second. And we're going to go out and take a look at the uh, one of the alley cap projects. So it's about 25 degrees out here this morning. And uh, as I said, um, there's this thing sitting here. It's been sitting here for a while now. Uh, in about a week or so, that's probably going to go out and go into the garage. Uh, we'll get the invaders be over in powder coat. This thing's going to get in the garage, put on the table, uh, start work on it, and Chuck needs to send us a bunch of parts. So if you're out there, Chuck, and listening, um, you need to send some parts. Because right now, all he does is he throws junk in uh, wood and scraps and firewood and crap on it. So I think there was a mouse nest on it a little while back. Um, but, yeah, this thing's going to get rebuilt very soon. Okay. So. If you thought we were joking about using EMT and building a complete frame, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to race it because it wouldn't be very strong. <laughs> but there's the right side bent out of EMT, so there you go, guys. A little secret I wasn't going to tell anybody, but I guess now i got to fess up. Well, you know, we did the bender, or we will be doing a bender uh, video here shortly. JD squared bender video. Yep, on the D JD squared um, and showing that. But uh, this is this is one of the things that we do for mock-up purposes. I didn't want to ruin that uh, chrome molly tubing that chassis made out yeah. of because it was like $17 a foot by the time I ended up paying the shipping to get it here. So I could go to the hardware store, buy that uh, one inch EMT, which happens to be inch and an eighth, use my tubing bender, and, and I burned through a piece and a half of that, making all the bends and getting them where I wanted them. Yep. Yep. That's just the how you gotta cheat on some of this stuff. So there you have it. Inner workings of the Wealthy Vader, Wealthy Alley Cat factory. Cheater's concept. Uh, yeah, I think uh, GTM Enterprises. Actually, this is called Cheater's Cart Shop. That's what it's called. I answer the phone with Tom Kelly that all the time. Cheater's Cart Shop. Finish yeah. first or finish last. It's your choice. Anybody want to know who Tom Kelly is? Well, he's a GTM Enterprises. Give Tom money. Enterprises. So, yeah. He's all about the cheating as well. So, there you are, guys. Um, this will probably go up before Christmas, so Merry Christmas to everybody. Thanks for following the channel. And uh, subscribe, hit that like button. Um, there's also that little bell button, too, that you can hit if you're a subscriber to our channel. Uh, hit that little bell, and it will notify you that uh, we got a new, new video, new content coming up. Um, I'm just about through all the race video for the season. I think there's, that'll be finished up probably this week. Uh, then there's some miscellaneous racing video that I haven't, haven't put up. 
Uh, I don't put up everything uh, that we shoot because uh, I don't. Ha I have a full-time job, so it takes a little while to edit everything. Um, and then we got more onboard video and and building stuff and a lot of other things coming up. So and then next spring started all over again.